closes. That's death. Yeah, that's. Fifty shards you look like the fella falls you first. Are. You just gonna stand you there? You are perverse. You gotta work with a broken head. Your mind about that brew? Down for a game of strike. Ah, come to revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I. Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original, straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Move that machine forward. It's all part of the learning process. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. Best end your turn so we can keep going. We still got a lot of ground to cover. End your turn. You have to end your turn there, Red. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to attack one of my... Don't be shy now. Move that piece closer to one of mine. 
When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close? Downside to sprinting is that your... Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine... It's easy. Rotate your machine for me. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your... Just gotta overcharge that machine and attack mine. You're still getting the hang of it, I know. Now, overcharge and attack my machine. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor, though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know, I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. You know where to find me, Red.
Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. It felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special group. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Already got enough meat and bitter leaf. Just need to grab them. Hello again. How goes your cert? About that. I should be going. Right. Get around faster if I find a charger to override. Yeah. 
pouch is full, but my pack has room. So I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. for a metal panel. <laughs> uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. No metal panel. Better check another scrap pile. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. Oh, 
I'll save this for a dire. Been to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then, just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, 
I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Stock up on some food before I head back out. Oh, you see what else? Oh, cooking up. Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Change Careful your mind there. to come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Talland making it rougher. This Tallinn guy might still be in chain scrape. I could have a word with him first.
that's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed them myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. That clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Come on! It's a serious fighting, not a drunk. <laughs> 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 Carjar, take it up. These Beat people it. are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Machines on Get to safety! Way. I'll handle the rest! Go, Lakasha! I'll help the Nora! Ah! 
I'm not giving up. Better check on the refugees. Guess the show is over. We'll save the extra stock for later.
We're lucky you came along. Stick the landing. I'm back in range of the Vista Point. I could try to find where the image was taken.
think I'm back in range of the Vista Point. I could try to find where the image was taken. with this machine for now. I <laughs> still. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Our order has made it this far, thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation. If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass.
part of the ladder. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. those beams if I jump against the cliff. Okay, now how to climb higher. Take this to a dire later. Ladder must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. to make the jump to the other side. That's a lot of blood. Savahart, where's the Stormbird? Getting closer.
That's all of them. Sabohar. In pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Sabahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even time. <laughs> no. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the peak. I just need to see the twilight. My people. Find their home. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. It's even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart.
who's trying to pull that? Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Be careful not to let this stain my hands. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. <laughs> Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart.
seems tolerant of the thugs. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear we out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which in this case is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird! Me! Am I right? She's right, boss. Blasted love, shut up! <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savalheart must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this, but as modest. But I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. 